transport tycoon tips to help you out on the server. Let's go. One of the biggest tips I could give you is join the server discord. Here you can get a 5% boost to all experience earned. You can also join companies and there's plenty of players here to help you out. If you head over to my channel you'll see two other videos I've done on Transport Tycoon. These are full of tips and tricks that are not in this video so I'd recommend you go check them out. This next tip is in the GTA settings. So hit escape on your keyboard, go over to settings and go down to display settings. From here head to safe zone size and turn it down a little. This will help you see the two inventory bars next to your minimap on the left hand bottom side of your screen. While you're in the settings head over to graphic settings head down to population density you want to turn this all the way to the bottom this stops a lot of cars spawning and it's, you've got less chance of crashing and you've got less chance of throwing cars in the path of other players the third and final tip while we're in the settings is head over to key bindings from here you can bind your inventory and your vehicle trunk this is really handy when you start trucking and to be honest to access your trunk or inventory in general for the next tip you're going to want to press M on your keyboard. You're going to want to come down to player options and then once you get in there you're going to want to come down to toggle options. From here you can remove the directional arrow from above the player's head. You can also toggle mobile radio and permanent seatbelt which can come in really handy. Ok so next we're going to talk about speeding tickets. These can be really annoying. When you first start the game they start off really small it's a couple of hundred dollars maximum and then it scales as you level with player level so as your player level gets higher the speeding tickets become higher you can buy speed trap cards for $120 each which will save you a fortune in the long run and I highly recommend it you can obtain these from your faction or from the traffic permit market the next bit of advice I would give is start garbage collections as early as you can because not only does it level your garbage collection it also levels player level strength and trucking so by the time you get to level 100 garbage your trucking level is really high your player level and your strengths higher and strengths important because strength determines how much you can carry in your personal inventory I would say getting from level 1 to level 95 in garbage collection takes around 6 or 7 in-game hours it's very lucrative. I believe I earn around a hundred million dollars, so it's well worth doing early game. If you hold B, open up your interaction wheel and go down to vehicle lock. This will lock your vehicle. I've had it a few times where you get out your truck, you go to get some bags, and someone's run away with your truck. The next tip, join a faction. You can do this by pressing T to open chat, forward slash, faction. Getting the right faction is fairly important. You want the faction that's going to work for you. So if you're into trucking, you could come to the faction that I'm at, Department of Transport. At your faction base, you will find everything you need. And I mean everything. From buying vehicles, to upgrading vehicles, to changing your job. You've got a bank, you've got shops that sell everything the game has to sell. It is a really, really handy tool. So as early as you can, forward slash faction in chat and find yourself a faction it's also worth noting that factions have their own storage so if you're running certain types of materials you get free storage at certain places with your faction also you get experience bonuses I'm not exactly sure what they are but I think it's around 20% but I could be wrong I know I went over codes in the last video but I've got a couple more for you so T to open chat forward slash code starter there's also forward slash code millionaire forward slash code 600k forward slash code tom forward slash code glitch that's with a space in between code and then the words another handy tip if you ever find yourself falling hold B and spawn a bicycle you'll see that as you spawn a bicycle mid-air you lose your fall damage and you won't die so this is quite a handy tip my final bit of advice today is get an electric car not only do you not have to fuel them up but they are also reasonably fast once you get a high player level the price of fuel goes up accordingly so it does end up costing you a lot of money 
So I would highly, highly advise getting an electric car to get from A to B for free. If this video today has helped you out at all, please consider subscribing. Until the next one, peace out.